there's a lockdown, an announcement will be made saying lots light out of sight. In the event of a lockdown, you should remain calm. Your teacher will lock the door and turn the lights off while you and the rest of your peers move to the wall furthest from the door and make sure you're out of sight. During a lockdown, it's important to remain silent. It's important to refrain from using your phone during a lockdown. If you aren't in a classroom when the lockdown begins, enter the classroom nearest to you. An announcement will be made at the end of the lockdown and your teachers will instruct you further. Hello Millennium, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm Aiden Hopper and welcome to Good News. Our first story for today is about a little company called WeWalk who has recently developed a cane to help blind people maneuver through cities and towns that they may be in whenever they want to go for a daily stroll. The company uses a cane that has Google Maps as well as speakers so they can know about obstacles such as transportation hubs or just local stores. It really will help them maneuver around the cities that they may be in and have a better life. In our next piece of news, we are talking about one of the biggest headlines recently. It is Hurricane Dorian, as if Florida doesn't have enough problems already without Mother Nature sending a huge storm over it. Luckily, some Floridians are actually good people, like one Chella Phillips who has taken in over 90 homeless and shelter dogs into her home to keep them fed and dry. It is so nice that they don't have to be in those rough weather conditions. And for Mr. Royal's headline of the week, after a disappointing summer, Humpty Dumpty has a great fall. Thank you for watching Good News. I know you probably didn't have much of a choice, but I hope you have a good, great, and wonderful week. All of you. Thank you. We performed well Friday, and we won because we worked as a team. We put in a lot of work at practice every day. Uh, our first home game went pretty well. We worked as a team, did, did great. Uh, you can expect from future games a show because we're very competitive in what we do here in Millennium. Uh, we won our game against Iowa Ridge, 35 to 20. And I think uh, we played well as a team. We still have some stuff to work on and uh, should play better in the next few weeks. For sure. On Thursday, we won against Centennial. And I think it's our determination because we have a different team, but we still have the same goal. We beat Sunrise Mountain and Centennial using our communication skills and our leadership skills and working hard at practice and just like working together. What's up guys, I'm Jalen Early. Kyle St. Pierre. Um, this week we have a big rival game against Desert Edge. Vote for us Game of the Week by clicking the link in the description. Um, the game is this Friday at Desert Edge. Be there and come support us. Hey Millennium, it's time with MTV weather and this week's forecast is going to be a hot one and we are kicking off with some high temperatures for this week. As we see, Wednesday is going to be at least 100 degrees. It's Arizona so it is going to be hot of course. Then Thursday is going to be 102 degrees so it's rising from Wednesday. The ending of the weekdays is Friday which is going to be 104 degrees so we are climbing up in temperature. The weekend looks pretty hot with temperatures from averaging around from 104 to 106 degrees. Next Monday looks like the weekend with 106 degrees, 107, of course. Same with Tuesday and Monday. The temperature can be around the same. It looks like 106 degrees. But yeah, I am hiring with MTV Weather. Thanks for watching. We understand that there has been a plane crash on the uh, southern tip of Manhattan. You're looking at the uh, World Trade Center. We understand that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack. Our country is strong. A great people has been moved to defend a great nation. Terrorist attacks can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings, but they cannot touch the foundation of America. These acts shatter steel, but they cannot dent the steel of American resolve. None of us will ever forget this day. 
yet we go forward to defend freedom and all that is good and just in our world. Thank you. Good night. And God bless America.
Hey, are you okay? Suicide is the second leading cause of death for children aged 12 to 18. Even though it might feel that way, you are not alone. You can talk to your teacher, your parents, your counselor, or just any of your friends. And if you're not comfortable talking to people, there's a number on the back of your ID that you can call. The line is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Just remember that at the end of the day, you are loved and cared for. No matter what, suicide is not the answer. Even though you don't have suicide thoughts, others might. Anyone can make a difference just by talking to someone. And remember, the back of your ID has a solution.